<laughs> Welcome to the first meeting of Complete Self-Defense for Women. I'm Bob Jackson. I have a black belt in karate. I've studied martial arts for over 20 years. I'm also a former world champion. Now, this course may cost more than others, but I guarantee you'll never be afraid of violence again. Now, let me ask, what are you ladies most concerned about? Yes, you! Okay, say you find out something about your husband, like he got another wife and some kids. Well, what I want to know is, how do you kill a man in his sleep? Let me think about that one. Why don't we start, though, with defense against the knife attack? Who would like to attack me? Oh, me. I got one in my purse. Why don't you try? <laughs> this is a real knife. Don't worry about it, grasshopper. I, I don't know. I, I really... I, I, I don't think I should. It's okay. Come on! <laughs> oh, my God. I'm really sorry. Oh, I, 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 I didn't mean it. I, I, are you all right? I'm fine. I shifted my internal organs to avoid the knife. However, like a lot of beginning students, you attacked me wrong. You're supposed to come at me like this. Now remember that and try it again. Okay. Downward thing. All righty. You see, you're still bending your elbows. You've got to keep your arm completely straight. Oh. All That's right. the whole key. Oh, God. All right. Try it one more time. Straight. Okay. Okay. I got it. All right. That's it? Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. yeah. Are you crazy? It's our first day! I just wanted to show her how easy it can be. Yeah, yeah. Oh. After 20 years. This class is a ripoff. I want my money back. Right? Me, me too. And I looked it up, and in 1976, Chuck Norris was the world champion. Oh, what? So you lied. I never said I was the only world champion. <laughs> there were lots of them. I sparred with Elvis! Wow. Okay. Hey, uh, you wake up from a deep sleep and your wife is doing this. Ow! Oh, what would you do then? Huh? And I turn her to this. Okay, <laughs> Elvis does this. Oh. <laughs> that might have hurt if I hadn't shifted Mr. Happy. 